Hello my dear Alliholics, this is going to be our new unboxing video which I'm going to do in a slightly different manner. I did not write the text prior to recording this video because it, it took me too long to uh, make the edits, so I'm just gonna look at the screen and uh, describe what, uh, what's going on here. Unfortunately the camera didn't focus properly, so opening and taking the boxes out of the packaging it, it didn't look that well, so I'm just gonna open the boxes and uh, say what they are. Uh, this is a first lamp, it's a desk lamp, which they felt the need to specify that it's not actually a lamp, it's just a light. Uh, the Red Dot Award, yeah, it, it won a Red Dot Award for the outstanding uh, design, which is uh, the award that does it. So it comes with a USB Type-C cable, which is kind of cool, because um, I'm actually running out of the spare USB Type-C cables. Uh, it's really cool. So this lamp, uh, it works on the magnet, so these two balls are magnetic and in order for the bulb to turn on, you need to put them close to each other. Pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah. So this is me turning it on and off, off, on and off, off and on. You know how that goes. This, uh, if you don't like Rick and Morty, this uh, this is what it looks like. So that's that's a water bottle, a Zori water bottle. They, they sent it to me, asked me if I wanted to review. I was like, well, yeah, send it over. So uh, it's actually a pretty cool bottle. Uh, BPA plastic or BPA material, BPA free material. So the, there is no aftertaste for the water and uh, it's supposedly like clean and it's not bad for you, like any regular plastic. Um, yeah, the, the handle thing is actually pretty cool. So there, there is a thing that you could use to infuse the water with. Here is me putting mint and cucumbers into it. And it also has a locking mechanism which prevents it from opening. And it also comes with the replacement rubber tip. So if it starts leaking, you can replace the thing. And here is me drinking it after doing sports. I do sports sometimes. Yeah, I mean, just as any regular bottle, you can refill it from the water fountain and from a tap and, you know, just drink it. Here is me drinking it. Yeah. I like water. So this is a uh, cable ties. One dollar for the whole roll. I think it's about a meter long. Um, there are different lengths available. I think the three meters is the longest one don't know if you need oh it's funny because it says uh, best things come in small packages but yeah I didn't feel the need to like show you how they work because it's pretty straightforward this is a pretty interesting item I have a roommate who uh, has airpods and uh, he, I was just browsing through products and he's like yo I need that so these are the earphone cleaning cotton swabs um, they're they're actually different from regular cotton swabs um, there is a bunch of them and they cost 40 cents. Uh, the tips are a lot stronger than regular cotton swabs that you would buy for your ears, like, you know, Q-tips. Um, it's a brand new earphone that I'm cleaning right now, so it's not going to uh, take out a lot of dirt, because, well, they're pretty much just out of the packaging. But I just wanted to show what the process looks like when you uh, try to clean them. Another cool thing is a smart TV box. So, I have uh, three different screens around my house. Um, I don't like bringing the laptop over from place to place all the time, so um, a TV box was something that seemed like a good idea to buy. So it's not the super fast, extremely cool TV box, but you know, it, it does the trick. Here is me taking the protective film off of it. Yeah, so it's running on a quad core. It's like it's similar to um, a mid-tier smartphone. And I said, yeah, it's not extremely fast, but you know, it, it does the trick. You can also like install apps on it and it, it's running Android. So I hooked up a uh, USB keyboard to it, USB Bluetooth keyboard. It comes with two USB outputs. It also comes with an HDMI cable with a charger and uh, a remote control. Yeah, is it? well, the, the browser, it works okay, it's any regular browser, it's same as on your phone. So whenever you're trying to type that small keyboard, it comes from the bottom, so you can like use a remote to type stuff in, or you can, as I'm using it, uh, use a keyboard to hook up to it and like use it as a regular keyboard. 
Yeah, one thing I noticed that there is a second uh, mouse cursor, so if you have a remote hooked up to it, you can use that to move that cursor. That was a little bit annoying. And also, for some reason in YouTube you cannot use keyboard, so I had to type uh, letters one by one using the mouse. Which was kind of annoying, but you know, not a big deal. Um, most people, I guess, would be using it with the remote anyway, so they're gonna have to get used to that. And I was at my friend's house and he had uh, Netflix app install installed on his PS3, I think that's what it was. And he was doing typing the letters one by one the same way using his remote, so nothing outstanding. Yeah, so no ad block, unfortunately, so you'll, you'll have to watch ads before watching the video. Another thing I noticed is that uh, it, it wasn't super convenient to... Um, like, it, it took me some time to understand where to move mouse, move the mouse so that the text disappears and also so that the mouse isn't visible. But yeah, I mean, it, it works as a, as a regular TV box. Here is me watching my own video. Totally, totally not a plug. It's, uh, I'm, not, I'm not getting paid any extra for promoting this channel. It's, it's a really interesting channel. Check it out. It's got some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, and also, I, I imagine you can install apps, like other games on it, and play games. Not that you would really want to play games using your remote, but it's something that you can totally do. Also, I installed Netflix on it, um, using my girlfriend's Netflix account, because I don't have my own. Uh, yeah, I mean... Oh, and another thing I noticed with Netflix is, for some reason, the... You're gonna see it in a second. Yeah, the top bar isn't loading for some reason. I'm not sure why. It did ask me if I wanted to update the app, so it might have been fixed in the new app, but like not a huge deal, because the top bar shows only ads anyway. You can still watch shows, and here is me trying to uh, watch Black Mirror. I didn't include the, uh, the footage of the show itself, because I didn't want to get any copyright strikes, because who needs that? But yeah, I mean, it works fine, the uh, resolution is fine, there's no weird blocky images. Works okay, work, works absolutely fine. Like for 20 bucks, I really can't complain, it's a, it's a pretty good device. But yeah, here is uh, here's the whole unboxing. Thanks for watching the entire video, I hope you didn't get uh, too upset that the sound wasn't recorded and that I was speaking without the text, and uh, yeah. Uh, see you next week, and next week is going to be a brand new video, probably unboxing, probably something else, I don't know, we'll see if more stuff arrives, but yeah, you are troopers and I love you all, thanks for watching, cheers!